Hi everyone, today in this video we will talk about the observer design pattern. This design pattern is very easy but very important in most of the scenarios. This observer design pattern works on the publish and subscribe concept. So here we are having a publisher and there are more than one subscribers. This publisher will maintain a list of all the current subscribers or the observers and it will notify them whenever there is a new update. If I talk about the terms of this observer design pattern, then we call this publisher as a subject and all the subscribers, we call them an observer. Now let's talk about a real example. For example, we are having this man and he wants to start a news agency firm. But the very important task in the news agency firm is that it has to maintain a list of the current subscribers and every time there is a news, this news agency has to publish that news to all the current subscribers. These subscribers can be added at any time and subscribers can be removed at any time also. So let's talk about how many methods are required over here. Okay, so because this news agency is maintaining a list of all the current subscribers, so there will be a list in this news agency. It can be in memory. So for our example, because we are just learning it. So in our case, this will be only in memory. But in reality, you can save this data in your database. Okay, so there will be a method to add a new subscriber. Every time a user wants to subscribe to this news agency, then we will call this method and we will add that new user in this subscriber list. Second one is remove the subscriber. If any user at any point of time wants to unsubscribe this news agency, then he should be able to do that. The third very important method is that this news agency will publish the news. So the third method is maybe notify or distribute to all or notify observers, whatever you want to call. So these three methods with that list is very important for this news agency. If I talk about some more classes that we need to implement in this observer design pattern is first we have to create one interface which is I subject. What is subject? The publisher is subject. I have explained that in the first slide of this presentation that in observer design pattern, we call this publisher as the subject. On the right hand side, we are having these users and we call them as observer. So we will create another interface for these users and the interface name is I observer. You can give any meaningful name. There is no restriction that you have to use only these given names only. Okay, now let's talk about who will inherit these interfaces. So there is only one news agency as of now. So we will create a new class news agency and that class will inherit this I subject interface. So there are three methods in this I subject, add new user, remove user and notify. So this news agency will implement those methods. If we talk about this observer, then there will be only one single method and that method will be there to receive the update that is coming from this news agency. So let's talk about everything in the Visual Studio now. Here I have created this console application by using the .NET Core 9. The version doesn't matter because this is a very basic concept even if you are using the .NET framework or if you are using any other programming language then this concept is totally applicable over there as well. So here we can write down all the interfaces that we need to write. Here I have written two interfaces and three classes. You can use this feature in the latest Visual Studio. Let's click on this add button and it will add two interfaces and three classes. So based on this name, because we are using this I observer, you can see that we are having this interface if we talk about this school. And here you can see that for this school, user and news agency, we are having this class. Okay, this was the feature of the Visual Studio. But now let's talk about again that observer design pattern. Here we are in this observer side first. So here we have to write only one single method and that method will be there just to receive the update from the news agency and that's it. Now let's go back to this school class and we will inherit it from where I observer, which is fine. And we will implement that method at this place like this. But I want to add one more property over here just to identify. For example, there are two schools. I want to give each school one unique name. So for that, let's create maybe a field at this place. And before that, let's use the primary constructor and simply write the name over here. So this is the implementation that I have in this school class. Now, why I'm writing this string name? 
this is not required as per this design pattern but i'm writing it just to identify unique schools so for example if i want to have five instances of this school or two instance then i will give them a unique name so that it is easy for us to understand this design pattern now in the similar fashion we will work on the user class let's go back to the user class and again we will in inherit it from that i observer and we will implement this same method here also and we have to assign that name also at this place the implementation of this subscriber is done now let's focus on our subject if i go back to this i subject interface in this interface we are having three methods one is this register observer to add a new observer we are having this remove observer to remove any existing subscriber or basically if someone wants to unsubscribe then we will use this method and here we are having this notify observer every time there is an update in this news agency then this news agency can use this method to update all its current subscribers why we are using this i observer over here because this is the parent of both these school and the uh, user class so this i observer can have the instance of both of them now let's go back to our news agency class and we have to implement it from the i subject now let's implement this now there are three methods plus one list so this is the list of current subscribers and because we are doing it for the demonstration purpose so i'm having it in memory otherwise in reality you may store this entire data in your database all right so every time there is a new registration we will use this method for remove unsubscribe we will use this method and for notify we will use this method so what we are doing over here so we are iterating this list and for all the users basically we are calling this update method all right this is very easy now let's go back to our program.cs class and so this was all about the blueprints all the classes but now let's talk about the instances and how things will work in the reality okay so first let's create one user and inside this user one you will have to give a name so here i'm writing this user one i have created two users and two schools at this place now let's create that news agency so this is the instance of that news agency now in this news agency let's register a few users so first i'm registering this user one and let's register this school one so what i have done although we are having four users but only two are subscribing to this particular news agency so let's broadcast a news and how can we do that news agency we are calling this notify observer method on this news agency object and we are passing a news which is news one Let's run this application and see what will happen in this case. Here you can notice that both the users have received this news one. So this is the first user and this is the first school. Although we are having one more user and one more school, but because they haven't subscribed to this news agency, that is why they are not getting anything. Now let's add a new uh, empty line over here, maybe console dot write line, and this time let's add one more user. So we have subscribed all four and let's publish another news this is going to be news two and let's do the unsubscribe concept also so here let's remove one of them okay so what i have done first i have registered only two users and i'm publishing this news okay now i'm adding one basically one empty line just for the identification and this time i'm adding two more users so we currently have two users over here and now i'm adding two more users over here so this news two will go to four users right now we are having one more empty line and here i have removed two users first school and first user so at this point we are having only two users which is school two and user two and we are publishing this news three if this time i will run this application then you will see that results are obvious and everything will work as expected okay let's confirm the result over here you can notice that for the first one we are having only two subscribers so both the users have received this particular news one for the second time we are already having two users and we have registered two more users over here so it means at this time this news agency has four users four subscribers and if it will publish this news too then all four will receive this news okay now over here we have removed two users it means two users have unsubscribed to this particular news agency so it means if there is any news three then only user two and school two will receive that update and that is all about this observer design pattern it is very easy to implement but this will cover so many scenarios in your real world application let me know your thoughts about this observer design patterns below in the comment section 
if you have any doubt any question feel free to ask everything in the comment section below and please subscribe to this channel like the video and share it thank you for watching have a great day